It takes a lot to get me amplified, you know? Done like a thousand videos, maybe more. Well, how many videos have we done? 1200 videos! Every so often a product that shows up here and is just like, whoa. This is that product today. First glance, you're like, I don't get it. It's a monitor. Big deal. Seen them, have one. But this one is different. This one packs more pixels than anything I have personally ever feasted my eyes upon. 8K monitor. 8K 7680 by 4320 pixels at 60 hertz. What? Oh my, how do you even, what do I even, what am I even? That's so many pixels that you're gonna need to feed this thing to DisplayPort cables to juice it up. Now I do feel the need to tell you that this is very premium at the moment, all right? It's not inexpensive. Price fluctuates a little bit, but you can expect somewhere around four grand for this thing. So you better be serious about your pixels. 100% Adobe RGB, sRGB, REC709, and 98% coverage. Spin it around to the back here. Jack can pick this part up for you. There you can see the two display ports that I mentioned earlier, as well as a bunch of USBs. Four USB ports so you can keep your peripherals plugged plugged into this thing and then a single USB cable to the system that you're using. Now the display size itself, 31.5 inches diagonally. What do you say? Shall we jump inside this box? Jack. Is it worth $4,000? Microfiber cloth, quick start, power, two display ports, and USB upstream for the USB hub. As you'd expect, the stand has to be pretty heavy duty. Base stay still, monitor moves. Plus the cutout for your cables, very modern and sleek design. You gotta get the right eye line on there. Look at how much it goes up and down. Very nice. There's a little release button here. No screws necessary, it just clicks right in. If I wanted to release it, I would just push there. Whoa. So you could do the full on portrait setup. That is bananas. Get rid of this. Woo! In my case here, I'm using a GTX 1080, two display port cables up into this and it just, it immediately figured stuff out. Now what you're looking at here is still a scaled image because of Windows. If I go to display settings here, you can see I'm at 300%, which is Windows recommendation. If I went all the way down to 100%, check this out. Like, <laughs> Jack, what happened to that text there? Can you even see that now? In its native resolution, that's how small text appears. So I have downloaded some images here, which are all 7680 by 4320 or higher. Keep in mind, you're gonna have to go off my reaction here. You're viewing this video in 4K, unfortunately. So watch me as I watch this. Here we go. Oh! Oh my. That is obviously a stake. The lens and the camera sensor, like any, you know, certain areas of the frame are gonna be sharper in here. To my eye, I've never seen that much detail on a stake in my entire life. Will, look right here. Look right in here. The glistening. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ooh. Golden Gate Bridge. Obviously a different aspect ratio here, kind of a panorama. I mean, we can see individual cars over here. There's so much resolution to work with here. I mean, I'm like a detective. I can get this guy's license plate over here. Okay, I might be exaggerating. This is Los Angeles at night with this cool blue hue going on. I don't know if you guys can fully appreciate this, but look at that. I mean, you can individual windows over here. It's just so much more resolution than 4K. This is maybe my favorite, and I'm still unsure if it's a real photo or computer generated, but it doesn't really matter. When you look in this section right over here, I mean, even at a 10X zoom, look at that in there. What are you talking about? Up into the trees here. I've never looked at another 8K one, so I've never seen an image this wonderful. Surprisingly, the streaming is working pretty good over our wireless network. This is an 8K video. And I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, to be honest. There's actually a surprising amount of very beautiful 8K footage on YouTube that you can enjoy if you have one of these monitors. Obviously, very few people do, but there are 8K cameras out there. And this is the effect you can get. This is what individuals shooting on those cameras, this is what they see before they publish. This is better than some of the still images I downloaded. Each frame, a ridiculous amount of resolution. As of right now, these guys are ahead of the curve. Gaming, that's a whole different story when you're pushing this many pixels. But certainly for any kind of photo editing, graphical work where you need to see incredible detail, as of right now, what else are you gonna put on your desk? Besides, you've probably got four or five grand burning a hole in your pocket, right? You gotta do something with it. Get yourself a few extra pixels. Actually. 
this is the perfect time to ask you a question. What resolution are you watching this video on? The display you're using right now, what's the max res? I bet it ain't 8K. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by the Tick Watch S and E as well as the Tick Home Mini. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with this, this is the most affordable watch that features Android Wear. And they've got two different models here. So this one on the right, this is the E model, and you can see it comes in a couple of different colors. And this one is the S model. You can see the detail around the bezel on this one also comes in white and black. Now to charge this guy up, you have this portable charge cable. It just slides on there like that, boom charging. So these guys raised over $3 million on Kickstarter and have recently began shipping this model out. It's got enhanced GPS tracking, step counter, heart rate monitor, and so on. And since it runs Android Wear, of course, you have the entire universe of Android Wear apps that you can load on here. It's also a water resistant IP67. This right here, if Jack can pick that up, that is the heart rate sensor. So if you're looking for an affordable but still high quality Android Wear watch, you're going to want to check out Tick Watch. Now, next Next up is the Tick Home Mini, which as you might have guessed from the name, it's a lot like the Google Home Mini, but with some added functionality. In fact, this device here is a little more rugged, it's splash proof, and this one is truly portable because it has a built-in battery. I remember when the Home Mini came out, you know, that'd be nice as a portable speaker as well. Well, that's what this one here does. This is what it looks like, and you'll notice it even has a little carrying strap, and since it's splash proof, you could bring it down to the beach and so on, plus you have large tactile buttons, but then the convenience of having Google Assistant built in so you can ask it questions, you can search things, and so on. So thanks to Tick Watch and Tick Home Mini for sponsoring this episode of Unbox Therapy. There's a deal right now so you can save some cash on either of these devices. 20% in fact. Check out the details down in the description. Use the code UNBOX and click the link down below.